Hey guys, this is Zabin from DMC. Now in this video, I'll be sharing with you how you can add an image gallery to your WordPress website using Elementor. Let's go into our step-by-step -step sharing. So if you are using Elementor plugin right now, and if you are thinking on how to actually um, create an image gallery, is basically very easy. Okay, so let me just um, add a new page, a demo page to do the demonstration. So let me just call this page as a gallery. Okay, so make sure that you click the edit with Elementor. Okay, so make sure that um. For those of you, if you're using Elementor plugin, yeah, so ensure that we're coming to Elementor setting. And over right here, you will need to decide where do you want to add the gallery, okay? Whether or not it's at the beginning of your page, uh, in the middle, or at the end, okay? Um, depends on which section that you want to add your gallery, yeah? So over right here, we can see currently this page um, that I'm building is a completely empty page right so i can just uh add the gallery to anywhere yeah so there's nothing all right here but some of you might be um working on an existing page where you already have like some text or a video going on um that you would like to have the gallery to show like in the middle of your text so then um you will need to utilize the gadget um the widgets area of right here to move the order of your gallery right so uh over right here let me just create a you know a structures over right here and i will use this yeah uh, one column structures yeah and i'm going to click on the plus icon right here and i'm going to select a uh, gallery widget okay so if you can see on the left hand side here there's a lot of different uh, widget that you can add yeah but the one that we are going to use is called gallery all right so if you can see right here, there's actually a few different type of gallery widget. Um, the basic versus the gallery of right here. If you can see, this one is actually the uh, paid feature. Okay. Um, if you're using Elementor uh, Pro version, uh, this is the one that you can use. Yeah. Uh, for those of you, if you're using the free version, uh, this is the only options that you can go for. Yeah. So I'm going to use this as an example. To show you as compared to this this is actually the wordpress uh, widget yeah so i would recommend for those of you if you are using elementor straight away we would just choose this widget yeah the basic gallery so you can just drag that to the section that you would like to add the gallery and over right here okay we will need to adjust the setting right here so right now um you will need to decide which yeah which images that you would like to upload yeah, to the add to the gallery. So right here, you can just click on the plus sign right here. Okay. And if you already have the images uploaded to your WordPress website, you can choose the image from your library. So let's say you can choose these, these, these randomly. Yeah. You can choose a random, um, you know, image. Yeah. So to add to the gallery. Yeah. Um, for those of you, if you don't have the images in the WordPress library, you can click under the upload files. And right here, we are going to select the file from your computer to upload to your site. Okay, so I'm going to choose this option. And you can see right now, all the images are being uploaded. Okay, so it's uploading to the... Uh, to your library as well all right so what happened make sure that you see that's actually that tick on the top right corner of each image yeah so this is the one that um, you are going to select and you're going to add to the gallery so once you confirm bottom right you will be able to see that this uh, blue button over right here called create a new gallery okay so click at the create a new gallery and insert gallery okay 
So very fast, um, you can see that the gallery is actually already uh, created right here. And um, a few settings for us to play around with, okay? Um, if you can see, this is basically the image size. So currently it's showing as thumbnail. So meaning to say, um, it might not show the image as full over right here as the preview. So if I drop down, choose from the drop down and I select, let's say full, right? And I want to see the full image in a gallery right here. Okay, so uh, what happened? You will see that from my gallery right here, it seems to be a little bit uh messy, right? So some image is like cover until the whole row. Yeah, we'll be able to cover to the max, but some image is like having a gap right here. Okay, the reason behind is that if you want to choose the image size as full, you will need to make sure that all the images that you are selected right here, they need to have the same height. Yeah, as the image size, the image size, right, of individual image right here, um, you need to have the same height. Or else, what will happen, uh, you can see from here, some image, if let's say the height is like shorter than the rest, right, you will have this gap, which is not, mm, doesn't look that well presented, you know, in the websites right here, right? So what you can do, okay, what you can do is that you need to first um, resize all your images before you upload to your WordPress website. Yeah, you need to do one more step further, okay? After you resize, make sure that all the size is standardized, then you can, you know, go through the, um, uploading the pictures again, yeah? Now, um, the one that I want to show you over right here, uh, let me just change back to thumbnail so it doesn't look that messy in a way, <laughs> okay? Now, the one that I want to show you over right here is the column, yeah? So right now, we are having four columns right here. Um, so some of you will be thinking of, uh, can we actually do a little bit of like customization? If I want to have like three columns, or if I want to have like more columns, how do you do that, right? Um, very quickly, you can just come here, once again, drop down menu, okay? It doesn't require any coding. This is something that I love about Elementor, okay? So let's say three columns. You will see this, okay? It depends on the size of your WordPress team, all right? So if in a way that if let's say you are choosing um, column three, and currently I'm using thumbnail size, right? So you will see that uh, there will be still gap right there because of the width of my page is like quite wide, right? So then it couldn't really actually fill up the whole, whole, mm, the whole sections right here. All right, so if I go with like row five, I mean column five, right? So if you can see over right here and let's try column 10. <laughs> All right, so if you can see right here, column 10 seems like uh, the image is like very, very small, okay? But for those of you, if you really, really need this option, then you can go with that, okay? But I will go with just now my column 4, okay, which I like um, the size of right here, yep. Now, I will, I will do a preview for you first of right here, yeah? So just uh, you can view it from your website directly right now. Yep, so if you can see from here, okay, this is the gallery view. So in the case that if you would like to enlarge the image to view, right, you can just easily click at the image and it will just enlarge right there. And you can see there will be this, uh, you know, left and right navigation uh, for you to click. And if you don't like, uh, I mean, once you're done with your you know, viewing the gallery, the user can just go ahead, click on the cross, and they'll be back to the website, all right? Now, if any one of you couldn't have this left and right navigation, not to worry, you will just need to ensure that you come back to your Elementor over right here, under this light box sections, right? These settings make sure that this drop down menu Ensure that it's either default or yes. Okay, so once again, it depends on your team. So if default doesn't work for your website for your team, right? You might want to switch it to yes. Okay, um, light box simply means that you will have this, you know, just now um, the navigations right here. 
Okay, you will have this navigation with you. Yeah, so ensures that this one is selected. And also at the same time, the link of the media file. If you are selecting as none, then the gallery might not work for the click to enlarge, right? So ensures that the link over right here is you are choosing media file and light box over right here uh, will be a yes, all right? So once you're done that, you can just go and refresh and ensures that, you know, you check on your gallery by clicking on the image again and to see if, you know, the navigation work for you. All right, so that's all in this video that I would like to share with you on how you can use Elementor to create your image gallery. So if you successfully created your gallery, remember to uh, give us a like and share and leave a comment below and let us know. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, remember to leave your comment below. Help us like and share. If you are yet to subscribe to our YouTube channel, remember to click on the subscribe button and most importantly, hit on the bell icon so that you'll be able to receive notifications when we launch our new video. See you in the next video. Thank you.